everyone, this is Marin. I'm a project manager at Damagi, and I'm going to talk about end of form navigation today, um, which, which is both how to use it and why it's useful. End of form navigation is a way to configure your app so that you can control which screen your end user sees after they submit a form. Um, so there's a few different options. First, we'll show you where this lives on HQ, and then we'll show you what all the options look like. Um, so if you're going on to HQ to set end of form navigation, what you'll want to do is go to Oh, thanks, Nick. Um, go to the form page, which is what we're on right now, and register form. And then you'll see that we're on the settings tab, which is the second one. And if you go down in the logic section, you'll see end of form navigation. And then there's four different options. So the first one is home screen. You'll see that's starred because that's the default setting. So if you create a form, that will be what the option is set to unless you change it. And then the other three are the first menu, the menu of the, the menu that you're in right now currently, and then the previous screen. Um, so now we'll show you what each of these different settings looks like and maybe some situations where you'd want to use one of these specific settings. Okay, so we're in a test app. I'm going to show you each of the four that we just talked about. The first one is the home screen. So we'll see I'll go into a registration form, someone that does not exist, and pretend this is all real information. All right, and then when you click finish, we'll see that the screen that we are brought back to is the home screen which uh, isn't the most useful of these options in terms of how an end user might be going through a workflow, because you'll see that we have to go click a bunch of times to get back to the list of things that I want to fill out. Um, so we'll go through the three, which you might find more useful depending on you know, the workflow of how your forms work. The second one that we're going to go through is going to be the first screen, or sorry, not first screen, the previous, or the menu of the menu that you're in right now. <laughs> sorry, guys. So counts Counseling is here. We're going to go through this. We'll say we're all set. We'll click the Finish button. And you'll see that the screen that we're menu that we were just in, so this is a menu where we can see all the forms in that menu. And you might want to consider this for situations where if you have, a say, a home visit where you have, yeah, where you have several different forms that you need to fill out and you want to do them for the same uh, case, that you can go through the list of forms and not need to continuously keep selecting the same case over and over go through uh, the, the setting where you would be brought back to the first menu. So follow-up form will do that. So if we go through this form, get to the end, select finish. Now you'll see we're brought back to the, the list of menus to begin with. So um, that will bring you back to the, to the first screen you saw after the home screen. And reminder, this is different than when we were looking at this screen, which is the screen of the menu that you're currently in, which is what happened after counseling. So that is the menu of the mother's menu versus the first screen, which is the list of all of the menus that you have in your app so far. And then the last one is your, uh, is your previous screen, where we're going a supervisor visit. So we'll click one of our CHWs. We'll go through and just fill out whatever information it is. So we're brought back to the previous screen that we just saw, which is a case list. Oops. It's important to note that depending on the setting for your menu, this might show you a different screen than this, but in terms of how we've configured it, we've uh, created this so it goes back to the case list, which uh, is a powerful way to do things like if you need to fill out the same form for a lot of people at the same time, we can go through and now I can select Jane and fill out the information for her as well, and then very quickly I can go back and now I can fill it out for Mary, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so depending on your workflow, this could be a powerful way to fill out the same form for multiple units or cases really, really quickly. And that's an overview of end-of-form navigation.